page. What's black and white and red all over? <laughs> That's easy. What is it? A chapter book. The words are black on white pages, and it's R-E-A-D, red, all over. <laughs> oh, you thought you could pull a fast one on me. Nope, not even close. Well, what is it then? It's a blushing zebra. <laughs> a blushing zebra? Where did you come up with that one? I made it up while reading my favorite new book. Let me tell you about it. Back off. I was reading Julius Zebra Rumble with the Romans. Now, if you like books that make your sides hurt from laughing, you should definitely check it out. Well, tell us about it, Paige. <laughs> okay. Forget all you thought you knew about zebras. You're probably wrong. Most people think they eat grass, they aren't smart, and they get eaten by wild animals. Well, they're really loyal animals to their families and friends. They can outrun the fastest lion and... Well, okay, they do like to eat a lot of grass. And Julius the zebra in this book lives in... Wait for it. Roman times! <laughs> well, this book is part graphic novel and a whole lot of fun. Now, trouble starts when Julius refuses to drink the lake water. All the other animals don't mind it, but Julius hates it. And because of that, he runs away. Pretty sad, but he gets caught by a burly old Roman who's going to take animals to the Colosseum so that the gladiators can fight them. Well, Julius Zebra thinks he's just going on a field trip or something. They catch a lion, a giraffe, a warthog, and even an alligator. <laughs> and there are a lot of jokes along the way. Well, Al, how would you like to read that book? It sounds all good to me. I guess I was right all along. What? What's black and white and red all over? <laughs> it's that book, because I'm going to check it out. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs>